So the question is, who doesn't do this? If I'm the only one to do this, you need to tell me. This isn't abnormal, is it? Don't we all do this? Hello, my lovely Floss Tube friends. Oh, what can I say? It's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day. Um, surprise video. Decided we needed to surprise you because there's so much going on. Massive, massive thank you to all of the wonderful and um, amazingly kind words and comments from everyone regarding my mum. Um, my mum, obviously my mum knows I do Floss Tube videos um, and I was reading the comments out to her. Um, and although she's, she's never sort of made an amazing appearance on, on my Floss Tube, um, I th she, she's very thankful for all the wonderful, wonderful words. So thank you ever so much. She is doing fabulously. Um, it is still early days, but she's making amazing progress. So, but anyway, this video is not to tell you about my mum's update. This is to give you an update on some exciting stuff. You know, not my everyday stuff. That's to come. This is the exciting stuff. So, um, you'll remember that in the past, I finished a couple of projects for my mum, and given what happened to my mum, um, I decided that I needed to uh, make sure that I got everything framed and up on her walls and gave her something pleasant and nice to look at. The first one was 100 Years From Now by Lizzie Kate, which I completed, and I did show a finish of one that I tried to frame myself. Needless to say, that obviously didn't go very well because at some point, very shortly after my mum put it on the wall, the whole thing just disintegrated on the floor, the glass smashed, and it basically was stuck between a bed base and a mattress for months because we didn't organise anything to get it reframed. Naughty daughter. So, given everything that's happened, that along with the fact that I completed my twisted band sampler, I decided that I would take them to a professional framer and let the professionals handle it because I'm useless at it. So, just to update everyone on when they were finished. So, the Lizzie Kate 100 years from now, I started on the 4th of May 2017 and I finished it on the 19th of June 2017. And this was for my mum for her birthday, um, of which I did complete it. And I, well, that was the reason that I did my own finishing, my full FFO on it was because I didn't really have time from the time I finished it to get it to my mum for her birthday. But now, I am pleased to say it is freshly, freshly framed. And here is the finished piece. Oh, sorry about the glare, people. So we went with a nice crisp white finish ornate frame with a sort of matching matte board to the words. We chose the darkest colour. Let's see if I can do it over here, see if that helps. So here we have it. And I've got to be honest, it looks a million times better finished professionally than my pathetic effort. But there you go. So mum is looking forward to having that on her wall. Now that I've actually got it back from the framers, a little close up. It's lovely. And I'm really, really stoked with that. I love the matte board. I think it really makes the, the stitching words pop. So now we just need to find a home for it down at Mumps. So that is FFO number one, which is completed correctly and fully finished. So as well as that one, you'll all know that I recently, so recently, it couldn't have been that recently, could it? Um, I finished my Twisted Band Sampler, uh, of which was the cross stitch only version. So let's see if we can find that. So it was, it, so it's the design by Northern Expression Needleworks on Etsy. I'll link everything below. I started this one, now this is, this is embarrassing. So I started this one on the 1st of June, 2015. And I didn't actually finish it until the 6th of March, 2018. Yeah, what can I say, people? Not only my slow stitcher, 
I'm like snail stitching. So, this one is also going to my mum because she deserves it. She deserves it. So here is the finished and framed article. So we decided to go with white on white, basically just to let the stitching do the talking rather than letting any framing or matting do any talking. As you can see, it's pretty big. And we had it so that the mat board went right the way up to the stitching. And like I said, this is the cross stitch only version. This is a big piece, people. I don't know if I can show you how big it is, but if I stand here, and I've got my arm at full stretch. There you go, sideways is better. There's always nothing quite like a little editing issue. Um, the progress on this piece was a nightmare. It took forever, it felt like it was taking forever. Had I known then what I know now, I probably would have gone with a specialty stitch version purely because I've done them now and there was really nothing to be that scared of. But I do love this piece. I love the colours, I love the transition, I love the pattern. Um, I wouldn't say it was overly exciting to stitch, hence the reason why it took so long. But yeah, we have another finish to go down to Mummy's house. Super exciting. So there we have that one. It's all about the finishes today, people. All about the finishes. Um, for those that follow me on my blog, and I think about here, you'll be seeing something, possibly. That's the plan. <laughs> um, you will know that after an eternity, or what feels like an eternity, um, I have yet another finish. This is not an FFO, this is just an FO. And without further ado, I will share with you the lovely, finally completed, still hanging on the hanger from being washed, is the gorgeous Grace Faces. She is done, hallelujah. I feel like I should have some music now. I should do a little happy dance or something. But she is done. And she is freshly washed, all nice and fluffy. Here she is, all ready to go to a framer, of which I can't send her to the same framer as the one that done my mum's pieces, unfortunately, because, because she's oval, egg-shaped, I don't know, whatever you want to call that shape, they can't do a mat board that goes round. That has to be a digitally cut version. So I'm going to have to go back to my other framer and let him do it. But I'm so stoked. She's gorgeous. She's my new best friend. And before you ask at the end question, no, this one is not going to my mum. This is very much mine. Mine. All mine. And I can't wait for her to go up on the wall. Um, she took like forever to stitch yet again, um, but it is a Josephine wool. It is a heaven and earth design They're never fast So just for the record mm -hmm, She says So Grace Faces or QS Grace Face 2, which is that piece by Josephine wool heaven and earth design Started are you ready for this drum roll, please? Um the 31st of August, 2015. And I finished her on the 9th of September, 2018. So, last week. Yay! Today is the 15th of September. I am so happy. So, ho, so happy. I feel like I should be doing a dance. There have been ups with this piece. There have been downs with this piece. And there have been times when I was, well, I mean, this is the piece that I use to do some of the head challenges on, so the, um, the diagonal stitching. Um, and then I got bored of her, and then she went away for ages. Um, then she's come back out. And the only reason that she is completed now is because of the lovely Donna. Um, I'm gonna put her YouTube channel about here somewhere. Um, the lovely Donna 
when I was speaking to her and obviously knowing that I hadn't really been doing too much stitching but I wanted to crack on and get some stuff done, set a challenge up. And would you believe the challenge was to get 500 stitches in Grace Faces because she was so close, yet so far. That 500 stitch challenge turned into a complete finish and believe me, there was a lot more than 500 stitches. And about now you should be seeing roughly what it looked like when I started the challenge of the 500 stitches in a weekend. And I was so excited when I'd done 500 stitches, saw how close it was and just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna stitch for my life. My mum was just like, just do it, just do it. Go on, just knuckle down, just do it. So my mum was, you know, my supporter in the background. Come on, you can do this. I did it and I'm so, so pleased because at last I have an, a heaven and earth design finish. This is my second ever finish. As you'll know, my first ever cross stitch that I ever completed was um, the lovely Faces of Fury. Um, that was my first ever cross stitch. In fact, let me show it to you. Let me remind you. This was my first ever um, heaven and earth design. In fact, it was my first ever completed um, cross stitch because I didn't like the idea of doing any of the little ones. I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand why. I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but um, this is my first ever completed piece. For those that have been following my channel for some time, you've all, you've all seen this. Um, yeah, first ever cross stitch. I, I, I thought, well, I don't have to worry about counting. I'll just do 10 by 10 blocks, and I don't need to worry about back stitch, and I don't need to worry about anything special, because it's just little X's. So this one, for me, from a starting perspective, was like the best thing since life's spread. So there's, that was my first ever cross stitch, finish, or real start to be honest. I mean I started a couple but I never actually finished any of them because they all got too complicated or they were so easy to go wrong um, and this one wasn't, believe it or not. So yeah, so as you can imagine I'm so excited, I just feel like I want to bounce all over the house that I've actually got another heaven and earth design finish under my belt, which now leads me on to what am I going to do now? Well, might just have to leave that one on hold for you all and leave you all in suspense. So, lovely chatting people. Hope you're all well. Um, surprise bonus video from me this, uh, this uh, September. Um, so, bye bye for now.